Hi, this is um, my short story called If. I sit quietly holding Laura's hand. She lays motionless in the hospital bed, the lights in the room slightly dimmed, a tear rolling down the left side of my nose, shaking momentarily to stop myself from bursting into floods of tears. I look at Laura knowing it didn't have to be like this. I close my eyes and all I can see is what happened over and over again. With both my hands on the steering wheel, I'm looking out into the quiet road. The traffic was calm. We had been out for a picnic. The sun was shining down on the windscreen, but not too bright for my eyes. Laura excitedly said, James, it's our wedding song. As Brian Adams, everything I do started to play on the radio. Like I do every time, I just smiled back, knowing Laura looked on at our marriage with fondness. I know Laura wasn't the best of singers, but I loved to listen to her. I kept my eyes on the road, yet there seemed to be no one about. I pulled up at Hawkesbury Junction, the quiet end of town where the tall trees shade the road. I looked each way and pulled my car out. I settled into gear and drifted along. Taking my eyes off the road for only a few split seconds, I looked down at Laura's hand gently resting on mine. I felt that urge of great happiness that could last forever. I took it in a deep breath of air as Laura's fingers clenched around my hand. Looking up ahead, it was too late. There was nothing I could do, but still I spun the wheel to my right. But we hit the car ahead. I could see the sky as our car dived up. Laura was screaming. Both our airbags immediately thrust against us. It seemed like only a second as the airbags deflated. Now upside down, our car crushed against the road. The glass shattered in our faces. Laura was quiet as we skidded to the side, stopping suddenly. The shooting pain in my neck was the worst I had ever felt. I looked at Laura and slowly my eyes closed. My eyes opened, no longer concealed in the car. I sit beside Laura's bed, doctors and nurses coming in and out. I look back and forth waiting for answers but none stopped to talk. What if? It's too late for that. The woman I love lays here but now hurts because of me. I feel a chill in the room but her eyes flutter. My heart beats rapidly as I stand. I want to hold Laura but I know she needs to help. I shout for the nurse and the door swings open as the nurse enters. Now wide eyed Laura asks, where is my husband? And at that moment, I knew I was dead.